Hi. Um, I was really not expecting to have anything to say today, but tonight was a night was so weird and it's a Tuesday. When does anything ever happen on a Tuesday, right? But let me let me take you through the night because it was quite, quite a ride. Um, so start up. <laughs> Um, pretty normal, kind of slow-ish. Uh, when I got there, uh, I was getting ready. I was talking to another girl in the locker room, and she said there's only one customer out there, which is like kind of normal for the night first starting out. I go out there. There's like one guy. I think there was two people by the time I got out on the floor, and then I think another like there ended up being like three or four people there for the first like hour or two so pretty low-key but kind of normal like that's kind of what I expect on like a day like a Tuesday right and I talked to like two of the guys and they seemed nice but they weren't really interested interested in buying any dances or anything so I ended up not doing any dances and then around I don't know what time it was I want to say by like 10 9 30 10 I think um everyone ended up leaving and then there was no one, no customers at all for a while, like two or three hours, I feel like. And I was sitting there like contemplating whether whether or not I should go home or not, because it's like, I'm not doing anything, I'm not making any money, so do I even need to be here? So I'm just sitting like on the couch with like two other girls, and we're just kind of like sitting there waiting and talking and like messing out on our phones and whatever. Um, and at that point, we even like stopped the auto rotation thing because it's like if there's no customers in there there's no point in having us go up on stage all the time so we just were playing like random music right and we we're just all sitting around so then at like i don't know what time it was it must have been like 11 30 or something i have no idea um all of a sudden we hear the rotation auto play thing announce one of the dancers names and we're like why are we starting it up again is there a person and so we're all like huh <laughs> is there someone here? Um, apparently there was one customer. And so we're like, okay, we have to like get back to work now, right? And so that dancer goes up and does her stage set. Um, I go to the bathroom because I'm like, I've been sitting here for three hours and I need to pee. So I need to have to go to the bathroom. So I'm, I'm back there. And then by the time I come back out to the floor, um, the dancer who's on stage has like stopped dancing and is just talking to the waitress and it's still like her set. So I'm like, normally if there's customers you're supposed to like keep dancing it's, you have, you're supposed to like keep entertaining right and I'm like okay what happened and then I don't see the customer anymore I'm like okay did, did he leave and then I go and talk to another dancer I'm like I thought there was a guy here and apparently this guy um I guess started taking a video of the dancer who was on stage which obviously isn't allowed and I don't know what happened um if he got kicked out or he just left I think he just left, like he got told that wasn't allowed and he, he left. Anyway, he was gone at that point. So I'm like, okay. So I went and like, I was all getting ready to like, you know, be an entertainer again, and yet we have no more customers. So I'm like, okay, well that was kind of dumb. So then, and there's this other like big long gap of like not having any customers in. So I'm just kind of sitting around and then I'm getting kind of bored. I'm also like, we don't have Wi-Fi in the club and I keep using up all my data <laughs> and I'm like at the very end of my data. So I'm like trying to like not use my phone, which is really annoying when you have nothing else to do. Um, so I end up going up on the stage with another dancer who's there, who's just like working on stuff. And I'm like kind of showing her how to do some pole stuff. So it's, at least it's something else to do, right? And we're just like messing around up there because there's no customers. Then this person walks in who is apparently the guy who had come in just before, who had gotten, like, who had left because of the whole video deal, apparently they, like, dropped their glasses, or I'm assuming they're sunglasses, or reading glasses, I don't know, and they had dropped them on the floor and, like, came back to, to get them, because I remember when I was up on stage just practicing and messing around, we had seen something underneath one of the chairs um, that was up at the stage, We're like, huh, what's that, and then the guy came back, He's like, oh, I, I left my, I, you know, lost my glasses. I think they're here. So he came back and retrieved those. And then what was nice is he actually gave me and the other girl who was on stage, like, I don't know, I don't didn't count it, but like a fairly, like, stack um, of, it was ones. But like, he gave us some 
tips just for like being up there and and he hadn't even like seen me because I was in the bathroom the whole time um that he was there originally and so he just like was giving some money to us I'm like okay that, that's cool but then he left and so it ended up being like no one there again and again I'm like contemplating whether or not I want to stick around because it's like if no one's here I'm not making any money so then um I think we were still it was still kind of in that um, space of time, because I remember I was still on the stage with the other girl just messing around, and I see some people walk in, and I'm, like, sitting there being like, okay, do we go back to, like, normal behavior now, how we're supposed to be acting, or are these customers actually gonna stay and, like, sit down and, like, be here, right? Because they were kind of, like, hanging out uh, by the door and I'm like I don't know are you guys actually coming in or are you just kind of like coming in and like leaving in I don't know so we were trying to um figure out if they're actually going to come in or not and then we start realizing that they're actually going to come in and they're like at the cashier paying for you know their cover or whatever they're paying for and so um we start the rotation up again and I'm already standing on the stage so they just like pull they start on me and so they call my name they start playing my music and I start you know dancing um and I feel like a lot of people run into this situation but I feel like it's happened to me a lot I don't know if I just had bad luck or whatever but I always happen to be like or I feel like several times not always there won't be any customers but then people will start coming in and I'm on stage but they're off at the cashier and stuff. So by the time they're able to actually come in and watch anything, I'm at the very end of my set, which is really awkward. Like when people finally come to your stage, but you're like, there's 30 seconds left of the second song I'm on. I'm supposed to get off stage now. And they start tipping you and I haven't taken anything off. I'm like, well, I'm not going to get undressed in like 30 seconds, right? Anyway, so that kind of was what happened. That was what happened, sort of. Um, so I'm like in my second song, they kind of finally come to the stage. I feel like I'm talking really fast. Am I talking really fast? I don't know. I just want to get a story out because like, it's a story. Um, so they come to my stage and they start tipping. I'm like, okay, good. And at least I, I take my top off at least. Cause I'm like, okay, I gotta do something. So tonight I was wearing a top where I just like lift it up. It's kind of like a sports bra type of, type of thing where I don't like actually take it off. I just lift it up. And, um, so I finished my song and then they threw a couple of ones on the stage, which is great. And then I'm like kind of at the end and I'm kind of kneeling down at the very edge of the stage. And okay, so let me back up a sec. So the people who came in, there's three people. There was a woman, her boyfriend, and then her gay friend. So two guys and a girl. Um, and they're sitting at the stage and they're sitting with the woman in the middle, right? And she's holding like a dollar and she's reaching up and she wants to put it in like the little like strappy bit of my bra. I'm like, okay, cool. So I'm like kind of leaning forward. I'm waiting for her to put the dollar in there. I'm like, all right, that's, that's the thing that happens. I'm like, okay. And then it was really weird because I didn't know what was happening. She puts the dollar in and then her hand is still near the boobage. And I'm like, what are you doing? And then she goes to like squeeze my nipple. I'm like, and she doesn't actually end up touching me because I kind of like, reflexively like go back I'm like no you're not supposed to touch me um which is just like just infuriating I feel like that's let me know other dancers if you're watching this I feel like it's a pretty common thing to have women especially women who are a bit drunk or intoxicated in some way just like assume that they can touch dancers because they are also women or like I think that's part of their logic they're like, oh, I'm a girl too. I can touch your titties without asking, right? I'm like, no. Anyway, so she ended up not actually touching me, but just like, just that gesture and being very forward and very like aggressive. I'm like, okay, this is awkward. Um, so, <laughs> so then I, I, I get, you know, the rest of my tips. I get off stage. I, I tell the girl who's coming up on stage after me. I'm like, so, you know, the girl out there just tried to grab my nipple. So just be aware. Um, and then the woman who was sitting at the stage also did something to the girl who came up next. I think she tried to like 
grab her butt or something. I, I don't exactly remember, but again, being very like forward and aggressive and kind of like inappropriate. So uh, I think maybe one other girl had a stage set at that point in time. But then at some point during the night, we take a break from the regular rotation. And keep in mind, there's only me and three other girls there. So it's a fairly short rotation. And we end up on our stage maintenance rotation, which is um, just where a waitress goes up and cleans the stage. Normally, they don't always do it, but it's a break in the rotation. And I remember I'm sitting in the back with the other girls because there's no other customers. And the only customers who are there are sitting at the stage, so we can't talk to them while they're at the stage. Um, and if there's a dancer on stage, because that's, you know, that dancer's territory, whatever. We're all like looking down on our phones or whatever. And then we look up and this woman is on the stage. She had crawled up there and we're like, okay, what is going on? So to back up a little bit, her and her gay friends, uh, like during the stage meeting, start, start like dancing together. It's kind of cute, honestly. It's kind of entertaining. They're like the only people there. And they're like, we're doing a dance club all, of, all on our own. And they're like, g like moving around the room and stuff. And they're just dancing. I'm like, okay, have fun. I mean, it's kind of awkward, but you're not hurting anybody, right? And then, like I said, we're the three of us in the back kind of like looking down. And then we look up and this woman has crawled up on the stage which she's not supposed to do. And we're all like, uh, she's not supposed to be up there, but we don't know what to do. And so we're just like sitting there watching, like, what's going to happen? She starts trying to dance, and her friends start throwing money at her. And then she proceeds to take her top off, like full, full titties. And, <laughs> uh, yeah. So we're like, oh. Okay, like this is, I've, I've never seen this happen before. Um, she had just got gotten up there on her own and had gotten her friends to throw money at her. And then, so finally the waitress who was out there runs back and gets the manager. And then there's like a whole little discussion up there about like, you know, she's not supposed to be doing this. And I honestly thought that they were going to get thrown out because, like, that's inappropriate behavior. You're not supposed to be behaving this way. They're clearly drunk or on something. Um, I don't think anyone who is sober and sane would do that. Um, but so they have a little talking to. Meanwhile, <laughs> what was awkward for me was that I was supposed to get on stage next because we were, while this was happening, was the stage maintenance. And then I was the next in the rotation. And I'm like... I don't know how I'm supposed to follow that. That was really awkward. And so I actually sit through like the majority of my first song. Cause like the manager is talking to this woman basically right at the front of the house, right in front of the stage. And I'm like, the only customers there are in that party. So I'm like, I'm not going to be entertaining anyone if I go up there right now. So I just kind of sit out my first song and then I go up during my second song and it's just really awkward. Um, because they didn't get thrown out. Uh, but I, I don't know, I was like, I was trying to avoid getting really close because I didn't want to get like accidentally touched again. So I kind of like went up there and was primarily dancing on the, the other side of the stage. Um, so that was really awkward. And then to add more to this. Um, so the boyfriend, so again, there's three people there, the woman, her gay friend, and presumably, I don't actually know these people, but that's what I heard other people were saying, that her boyfriend was there as well. Now, while I was on stage, I couldn't hear what they were saying, so I'm, I'm making a ton of assumptions right now just based on body language. I'm not, obviously, I don't know these people, so I don't know what their story is. But he's sitting down being like a decent, seeming, seemingly decent person. Like, I didn't see anything wrong with his behavior, the boyfriend. And I'm on stage... And she is, like, leaning, like, over his chair in a very, like, demeaning way. And I don't, I don't know what she's saying because I couldn't hear them. But, just, again, body language. Being very, like, controlling of him, it seemed like. And it was just very awkward. I was like, I don't know what this relationship is like. But I feel like this guy is in a very, like, vulnerable position. 
And I'm like, I don't, I don't know your relationship. I didn't even know if that was her boyfriend at that point or not that that really matters. But like, here's this the woman like talking down to this guy for some reason, which I did not know. So I'm like, okay, this is interesting. <laughs> and then, so eventually I get off stage. Luckily they tipped. In the end, all I really care about is the money. So I got stage shifts. And then I'm back in the back and I'm talking with my manager who had to, you know, get the woman to come off stage. And I was like, I thought they would have gotten kicked out. And she was basically saying that the boyfriend is like convinced the manager to let them stay. Which again, kind of feeds into that whole like, is he just defending her? I don't know. Again, I don't know these people. Um, I only saw them for a couple hours or whatever, and I don't want to, like, make assumptions over people that I don't know, but I am, I guess, making us making assumptions, but just, if, if we're all on the same page here, right? Yeah, so, yeah, they ended up not getting kicked out, um, and they stayed there till basically the end of the night, and it was just really awkward, because, like, like, they were nice, but the the woman was being very aggressive, and I was kind of, like, afraid to be near them, and they would, I, I feel so bad for the boyfriend, he was like this very awkward third wheel in the whole situation, because like, the woman and the gay guy were like having a fantastic night, like, whenever there wasn't a dancer on stage, like when we do the stage maintenance part of the rotation, they'd be up dancing, they were like all around the room, very fun and lighthearted seemingly, um, just having a great time. Meanwhile, the boyfriend is like, I don't know if he was like completely sober, but didn't seem to be in the same frame of mind as the other two. And it just seemed very, very awkward for him. And then eventually, eventually we ended up closing because it was like near closing time. And I'm like, can you please call last stage so we can like leave? <laughs> and so we end up closing it like, you know, or we go back to get dressed at like 10 to 2. And yeah, so that was that was that part of the night. And then I end up staying for like another hour just like talking with the other girls and there's a lot of gossiping going on. I won't get into details about that, but like it was it was a like good like let's get the girls together and just kind of chat kind of time. Um yeah, we were just talking about what all happened during the night and like Apparently, like, relationships that are happening with people at the club, which I didn't know about because I don't talk to anybody. <laughs> I mean, I talk to people, but, like, I don't know. I don't really, like, gossip about things because I'm kind of antisocial and I just don't, yeah, I just don't talk to people that much. But I learned a lot of things today. <laughs> I'm like, oh, this person is seeing this person and they work together and I don't think that's a good thing. Um, but, yeah, obviously I won't go into details about that. Um, but yeah, but it was, it was a very wild night. Um, yeah. And it's a Tuesday. It's a Tuesday. I was not expecting, I was expecting the whole night to be like the first hour I was there. Like maybe a handful of people, maybe I would get a dance, but otherwise I'd probably just be a stage night kind of night. Um, but no. And like I said, I was contemplating for a while, like, leaving early. Because I'm like, no one's coming in. We had this big gap where there was no customers. And by the end of the night, I was actually fairly glad that I stayed. Because it was very, very entertaining. <laughs> but, um, yeah, and I haven't counted my money from tonight. But it was actually, like, decent-ish. Again, it was still a stage night only kind of night for me. But, um considering everything that happened today like I made some money and that's good enough for for now so I hope you followed all that there was kind of a lot I needed to like say which I, again I was not expecting to have that much to talk about tonight but there you go um and it was funny because I was just thinking like yesterday that I haven't I feel like it's been a few days since I've done a vlog but um, I hadn't done one because there hadn't really been been anything like noteworthy to talk about, and I don't want to film something or make content when there's like no reason to make content. So, yeah, 
Um, anyways, this has been like a 20 minute video now, so I'll let you guys go. Uh, thank you for listening to my story. Um, we'll see what Wednesday brings. Maybe it'll be boring like it usually is, but I don't know. This is like the first day of my week this week, and uh, it's if the rest of the days are like this, it's going to be quite a wild week. So I will keep you guys informed if anything interesting slash entertaining happens. But uh, anyway, um, until the next video, I will see you guys later. Bye.